the large intestine. In this video, we'll talk about the structure and the function of the large intestine. First, the large intestine, also known as the colon, is the last part of the alimentary canal, besides the rectum. It can be broken down into three parts or sections. The first part connects to the small intestine over here. I guess you could say that the large in intestine is an extension of this pathway of digested material through the alimentary canal. But it's a, it has very different structure than the small intestine. So the first part of the small in of the excuse me the large intestine is called the ascending colon. The second part is the transverse colon. And the third part is called the descending colon because it descends into the, the rectum. And here's the rectum right here. So confusingly, the large intestine is not actually longer than the small intestine. It's only about one-fifth the length of the small intestine, but is actually wider than the small intestine. The interior of the large intestine is also um, different from the small intestine because it does not contain villi. The villi were those long projections that help the small intestine absorb nutrients into the bloodstream. So it does not contain villi inside. Okay? That's going to help with the, with the function. So there's this lumen or s space inside the interior of the large intestine. So what is the function of the large intestine of the large intestine? It has three functions. One, and most importantly, is the reabsorption of water into the body. Two, the elimination of feces. And three, the production of some vitamins. Let's go through briefly how the large intestine accomplished this. First, uh, the reabsorption of water. Well, you might be familiar with a situation known as diarrhea. When the digestive system is not working properly, perhaps the culprit is some bacteria, some harmful bacteria inside your um, large intestine. Some good bacteria also live in your digestive tract. But let's say there's some harmful bacteria. The large intestine might not be able to absorb um, or to um, reabsorb water back into the body and so therefore you might be full of water in your in your feces causing a watery stool. Um, this can cause you to be dangerously dehydrated so we don't want that to happen. Um, you can take antibiotics or um, take an oral rehydration therapy mixture to rehydrate yourself. Second function of the large intestine has to do with egestion which takes place in the rectum. Egestion is basically the, um, after the holding spot holds a solid waste um, of your feces. It just means that eventually you will be able to release that through your anus. And then part three, or the third function, and last but not least, a lot of friendly bacteria, as we said, live in the um, large intestine. And these are called E. coli. E. coli bacteria produce B vitamins, vitamin K, and folic acid, or folate. These vitamins are essential um, to the nervous system function and other, other functions in the body. This is the third and last digest, um, excuse me, large intestine function. So a few things to remember. Uh, large intestine is wider, not longer, than the small intestine. It reabsorbs water into the body and it eliminates feces and produces some vitamins. Check out our other videos on the kidneys to learn more about reabsorption of water.